Hello once again, welcome to a daily run, a Maggie run. We've had Maggie runs before. I've not done well. I'm hoping to do well today. I recorded a daily run very recently, uh, by which I mean I pressed all the buttons that normally record a daily run. This is fucking shit. Let me out. Uh, and then I realised that I'd accidentally pressed set OBS to record the <laughs> uh, Darkest Dungeon, even though I was playing The Binding of Isaac. I know what you're thinking, why don't you just record whatever you're playing? Uh, that might work, to be fair, for things like Darkest Dungeon and The Binding of Isaac. We'll leave this here for now. Uh, but it doesn't work for games that, are, that use the 3D card heavily, basically, the Fallout 4s and the City Skylines is, because um, those things use the NVIDIA encoding what's name, which is on the GPU. And works best if you are using game recording, which basically says, hey, record what the GPU is doing, not record what the screen is doing. And it's just sort of a shortcut in the pipeline somewhere, and for various reasons I'm not entirely sure I would be uh, faithfully reproducing if I tried to explain it. Holy shit, this guy is fast. Do you see that, son of a bitch? Um, you can't really use screen recording for high intensity things like that. Or maybe you can, I haven't really tried. Uh, monitor recording, they call it. It records the output rather than the input or something. Anyway, I probably should, but at the same time, do you not think it would make sense if OBS sort of said, you know the thing you just told me to record isn't running right? And I get that you can set it up for a stream, so you would tell it to record, you set up a scene with the Binding of Isaac, and also various other imports, inputs, like um, like your logo, different scenes they call it, and then during the stream you switch from the static image of your scene to the Binding of Isaac game and you say, hey everybody, we're playing the Binding of Isaac, and then you go, 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 and even if Binding of Isaac isn't running at the time, you can set up sort of behind the scenes with a sort of a test card or something in, in a way. I get that. But then at least give me the option <laughs> of saying, if this isn't running, say so. Maybe there is an option. I should check it, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. We're fighting uh, Famine. In in the context of the Binding of Isaac, I have said nothing. Maggie, I think, starts with 3 or 4 HP. So I'm not too worried about our HP right now. I left that Spirit Heart behind. Uh, because it's the next floor where we're going to be concerned about Spirit Hearts. There's another one. Uh, on this floor, we can actually make use out of the Yum Heart because we don't really give a shit whether we get hit. And although we did get hit and I called bullshit, I wasn't really calling bullshit, it was my fault for bad positioning. But as we know, Maggie is a very difficult um, creature to begin with. Because she has a lot of HP but very low damage. Oh, I should look for Magic Mush. But, uh, you know, this is the pills game again. Do we take pills or do we not take pills? We've got a. Uh, we got Liberty Cat, which is a... Uh, that's okay. Puberty. Fairly decent starting trinket. Ooh, yeah, we'll take this. This is not the time to do that. We are going to Mega Sen. So basically, we're not going to be playing the self-sacrifice rooms whatsoever. We do need to get a press on. Maggie also starts off very slowly. And Liberty Cat surprised me just now. <laughs> by making me very quick on a room with dangers in the corners. It's okay. We have an orbital as a result of famine. Which could turn into a uh, uh, super bandage girl in future and start tearing around the place doing untold amount of damage which I would be very fond of but we need to go faster and that means we need to get damage upgrades or at least start using things that do damage to do damage so uh, it's probably looking like we're going to be wanting to use our orbital offensively like this in order to get through rooms a little bit faster oh no uh, no keys, Gromit. Hmm, we're going to be doing some backtracking then. Hopefully not too much, but I want to go into the item room. It's really not uh, not something you want to pass up, at least on these early floors. The chances of it being a strong damage upgrade for us is pretty high. We have got 5 HP, so that means Maggie does start with 4 HP, and I am correct with my Isaac Law. I've only been playing it for, what, 400 hours, 450? So, you can imagine that I wouldn't necessarily know that yet. You know, it wouldn't be built in. 
what are we going to do to get to boss rush in time? We also have to do hush as Maggie. There's another HP. I'm okay with it. I will take it. I'm happy to get a lot of HP because we don't need to worry about doing the self-sacrifice rooms, but we're probably not really necessarily, and other such non-committal words, going to be in a position where having zero HP is valuable. And by that I mean those items like the Whore of Babylon or uh, Empty Vessel, which I think are kind of the only two, or regular boss trap rooms that we really give a shit about. I mean, we do give a shit about them because, ow, because uh, they... Oh, fuck, thanks. <laughs> we go all the way back. Give you a lot of points, and this is a daily, and we want to be competitive. Don't walk into the rocks. I would like to not have taken so much damage on this floor. If possible. But uh, it's just me playing badly, I guess. Well, this is um, this is a way to beat Mega Satan. Oh, well, we've got that. <laughs> so much HP on this run. I think it's just a uh, RNG Jesus, but everyone's got this much HP. Maggie's slow at walking and slow at killing, but we still need to get to Boss Rush. So it was very unfortunate that on this floor, the item room was so far away from the key that we got to open it with. With which we opened it. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I think uh, Box of Spiders is a decent pickup, at least early on in this game. Um, being able to create spiders like this is super valuable because it's so much extra DPS. We nearly roasted the shit out of the haunt just now. Did you see that? That took no time. We've got a damage upgrade, which is super valuable. I'm going to pop these in case it's Krampus, which is not. Well, it's Judas' shadow. I mean, we should take it. Hmm. Maybe we try and kill ourselves on the next floor? Let's go into the curse room. Ah, fuck it. It's too far away. I didn't want to go into the curse room because it would have guaranteed me red heart damage. But now I want to... I've got 4 HP. And you have to... No, yeah, we'll do this. It's a daily. Remember, it's a daily. Remember, you're a daily. Um... I want to use Judas' Shadow to get the damage upgrade, the huge damage boost that you get from it. Uh, but I also kind of don't want to lose all the 4 HP, so what we're really going to want to do is see whether we get HP from this coming boss. I'm not using this pill in case it's telepills, which um, it was a bit of a misplay on the previous pill, by the way. Uh, yeah, the next boss could give us HP, if it does, sugar. Then we might consider using Judas' Shadow to come back to resurrect ourselves. Uh, that way we get a very strong damage upgrade. But we also don't have to worry about the fact that we've lost the HP because we're going to get the one back. Or if just a lot of spirit hearts drop, that sort of thing. I'm not too concerned today about... I say today, in on this floor. I really want to... Yeah, do that. Uh, about not taking red heart damage because we're very unlikely to get a deal with the devil anyway, and honestly, we're very likely to take red heart damage, trying to use the ball of bandages to kill things quickly. We've already taken the red heart damage. As noted, if we're going to kill ourselves, we're going to lose all these red hearts anyway, and do the damage, although we would normally do the damage after the boss when we've discovered whether or not we get our deal with the devil. Uh, it's full health, which is good to know, and also not extremely valuable right now. But it could be extremely valuable in future, so uh, it could definitely help on a blood bank or something like that. Or if we just found one and held it when we had a small amount of HP. It could get us out of a bind, so. Full health at this stage, not brilliant. That was <laughs> very, very ballsy. I just ran at that spider. I hoped that it would die before I got there. Oh god. Die. I want to kill that thing because it's... Yeah, I don't mind it doing creep, but I do not like it when it's um, shooting random... Sh Bullets everywhere. Fuck you, boy. Holy shit. See that guy. You're dead. All is well. There's so much HP on the ground as well. Alright, let's see if we can uh, all advantage these motherfuckers into oblivion. Wow, there's bullets there. There's never bullets there. What the hell? Uh, luckily, I was aiming at that thing with my ball of bandages at the time it did the... Uh, the bullets explosion and the ball of bandages picked up the bullet instead of me. 
which does be proud. Yeah, the spiders are doing enough DPS to get us through half the floors, uh, half the rooms, basically, which is valuable. I took damage here because I'm being aggressive with baller bandages, which I said I would do. We'll get in. Hmm. Maybe worth taking a spirit heart before the boss. It may be worth taking the compass to have an idea about where the boss is, but if we're vigilant with our use of Liberty Cap, we should be paying attention to when Liberty Cap tells us where the boss is anyway, so we have some compass built in, basically, is what I'm saying. Ow. Alright, that one's dead. I don't want to use the ball of bandages on these because they explode, which would hurt. There's a key. Key gets us not too much at this stage. Uh, we'll take this bomb, put it here, try and get both of those. We did get both of those. That was a value proposition worth taking, especially um, even taking into account the fact that it's not necessarily a good idea blowing up one of those for one for some money, because there's two of them, which I think is more worth the gamble, even on a daily. Can you? Do you see how long that took to die, even with Cuban meat? Uh, cute ball of bandages doing the work. Fucking forever. That's how long. These things. Jesus. Also, uh, I I probably will use the. Judas' shadow play on this floor. I want to get it out of the way, basically. I don't want it hanging over my head any longer than it has to be. Let's try and get rid of this motherfucker quickly. Hopefully it's not going to be a boss that's uh, going to take us a lot of time to beat, because if it takes a lot of time, there's a good chance it'll take a lot of HP as well. No, you don't come at me, bro. You run away from me. Yo, this thing will not fucking die, because these motherfuckers... Takes so long to die, I can't get any shots in on it. Christ. Let me out. Okay, you can have that. You can have those. I've taken so much damage on this room, just because it's taken me so long to kill anything. And this is why I'm not a fan of Maggie runs, necessarily. Uh, that's shiny rock, which is not my favorite. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to backtrack. We're probably going to miss boss rush, because Maggie is so fucking irritatingly slow. I am so unlikely to find to reach boss rush on a Maggie run. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Hope everybody else had as much a heart attack as I just did. There's nothing else on this floor for me. It's probably a secret room, but I used both my bombs to try and get rid of that annoying room. Yeah, Maggie's so slow. And we haven't had a sufficient damage upgrade to be able to sort of tear through. We could afford the compass now, but I don't kind of really want it. I do not like this fucking pestilence bullshit, because... Can I get through here? Yes. That was ballsy, but... Holy shit. How many of these motherfucking things? I can't fucking do this room, because there's so much shit on it. You know what? If there's one thing that I would absolutely change about Afterbirth, it's those fucking drowned things that take so much damage, do so much damage, you know, they explode into those extra... Frickin' bullets when they die. There's so much shit on this pestilence fight right now that I just can't get to pestilence. Like, by the time I've beaten one of these blue things. Oh, there's no. Ah! Oh, fucking Dark Judas! Right, bring it on. Go fuck yourself. I did say I was gonna kill myself, but I was getting so salty about this fight that I'd forgotten that it was gonna kill me for me. Makes sense. It does make sense. Don't judge. Right, we're okay. These things are dying like the little motherfuckers that they are now. And that black heart. Now, pestilence is obviously gonna not necessarily obviously if you're not aware, but it will pay out with another ball of bandages. Like the the runs are always seeded to pay out with all the same type of orbital from these. Now, this is where I would have liked to kill myself. I'm tempted to not get. Ooh, I forgot we had. Yeah, but I'm gonna stand here and wait for Krampus. <laughs> to walk into me. Because I am going to die otherwise. Please do the rotatey thing. Thank you. So at least you get rid of those fighters. You killed me. You didn't quite kill me. <laughs> I'm going to die anyway. We have got a spirit heart in the shop, so don't despair just yet. Stand still. Look at that fucking bullshit. Stop doing this. Now you're going to die. That wasn't very much die at all. More die. Yes. Thank you, Krampus. You've done me proud. 
Right, let's go and get that spirit heart and to hell with boss rush. Fuck me. Oh my god. Right, okay. <laughs> Calm down. You are now Dark Judas, like everybody else. Uh, and that pestilence fight was bullshit. It wasn't just you. Uh, the shop is over here. We will take the spirit heart. We're even going to take this. It's the Hierophant. That is exactly what I wanted, but I nearly said it before I picked it up. But I didn't want to jinx it, and I didn't want to... Ah. Look, you're not going to believe me, basically. I was going to say, this is probably going to be the Hierophant. And then I picked it up, and it was the Hierophant. And it gave us two extra spirit hearts for five cents, and I was ecstatic. And now we have three and a half HP, which is basically about as much as we had just now. It's just that now it's in spirit hearts instead of red hearts. Do we know where the boss is? No, we have no vision yet. These flooded fucking caves, though. Is this a challenge? I know these are daily challenges, and I've said it before, that I've remembered, basically, that we are on a daily challenge run, not just a, a daily run, but... Are they... themed? Is this a thematic run? I know some of them are themed. There was a Valentine's Day theme, where we had Maggie as Frankenstein's monster. Or the Bride of Frankenstein, maybe? Um, then there was... Holy shit. Uh, you know, the Nintendo birthday one year where we had uh, Isaac as the chap whose name I can never remember, let alone pronounce. Pr pardon me. Pronounce. Uh, and then, of course, there was Thanksgiving, which at the time I hadn't realised, but all the boss items were dinner. And I was re rolling them like a motherfucker and I'm going, why the hell can't I re roll this shit? Yeah, it's because the Americans have. Have holidays we don't, and it involves eating a lot. Ooh, not a fan of that. This uh, Dark Judas power up is kicking it. Old school. Our spiders are now way more powerful because our tears are way more powerful. So everything is coming up roses at the moment. Although we do have to try and stay ahead of the game. Uh, literally, the, the game itself. The speed at which the game progresses is. Not gated necessarily, but you know it's it's moving forwards and it could outpace us. That was very lucky that Cuban Meat was in the way of that shot. The ball of bandages. I do apologise. I don't mean to misrepresent. It's just that I'm in a very tight spot and it's good. Yo, what is this shit? There's too many of that motherfucking bullshit. I really need to excuse me. Practice with Cuban Meat, which I did well there, but. Normally when things spawn enemies, you have a certain certain amount of invulnerability to them. You can't immediately walk into them, because that would be bullshit. I'm just saying. But it did happen. I was talking to James about the Binding of Isaac, and he was saying how he enjoys it, because it's, a, it's like, it's kind of like gambling, he says, in that there's a lot of risk-reward going on. Ooh, that was close. But what you're really doing is you're going through the motions of the same basic thing over and over again. You know, you do the floors all in the same order and you make sure that you get to the item rooms where possible. But really, the uh, thing you're looking for is the ultimate reward of getting a really, really, really strong run. Sort of an endorphins run where you, you're just out of control powerful. You beat the shit out of the game. And then you... Yeah, yeah more of that, please. Come back for it all. Excuse me, when you're, uh... Yeah, that's right. That was very close. When you're you're uh, charmed like that, you're supposed to hurt each other. That's the plan, anyway. Maybe I can get a spirit heart out of this, Joker? Or this one? Mm, not really. Dark Bum would be great. Puberty. Not really what I want, but we'll take it. And I think he's right. Um, I play Isaac. Because every single run is so significantly different, even though fundamentally it's the same, right? Oh my god, this room. Oh no, not this enemy, blah blah blah. That's bullshit. And the same things that are bullshit on one run are always bullshit on all the other runs, like those drowned silkworm fuckers. But sometimes your bullshit runs are overpowered bullshit, and it's bullshit in your favour. And those are the ones you live for, those are the ones you play for, and I don't think we're going to get one today. But nevertheless, I'm going to... Hold out hope. More spiders. That we're going to get a super powerful crazy run every time. 
That was uh, very difficult to deal with because there were three fucking silkworms. Out of one... Ugh. Look. I could harp on about it until I'm blue in the face, which I might do. But what I'm saying is... Don't... <laughs> I just didn't expect... I think uh, my papa fly there actually um, caused that to take damage and as a result confused the shit out of me because suddenly the thing died. Uh, yeah, don't expect me to do well on any room that involves those blue motherfuckers. Good. Those. You didn't do the attack that I hate, although you did create blue motherfuckers. Which I don't like, but I'm happy that you gave me the speed and damage upgrade. We have got 30 seconds to do the next two floors. Not gonna happen. I did uh, abandon boss rush some time ago, although I dare say there are many people who achieved it. But we will do hush. And hopefully, by the time we get there, um, Mega Satan will be an achievable victory, if not an easy one. Also, I hate this room. My, um, my Isaac Eye coordination is way off. In terms of where the hell I'm supposed to be. If I do this, then Grandpa Fly will follow me through these motherfuckers. Because they will necessarily drop where I stand. In terms of hitting things with Cuba Meat and not myself, my coordination is way off. And that's always been true. <laughs> and it's why I need to practice. I'm not very good at really recognising the absolute position that Isaac is, or the relative position that Isaac is at, compared to the things that I'm trying to aggressively melee. It's okay. We might do the secret room later. Uh, the curse room later. There is a uh, tinted rock here. Please go. Yes. I like it when you get a enemy in a bomb that's like a bomb plus. Bomb plus a kill. Two, sh two ships for these. Good, good, good. We're going really fast, but it's not really fast enough. Um, we didn't really gain momentum until we died and came back as Dark Judas. Which was expected, but still, I'm not pleased with it. We'll go in here. It is not... Super Greed, which is nice. We'll take this because I'm scared. We'll take this because it's cheap. It's the sun. We'll use it on the next floor or on a particularly annoying room. I mean, it's not like we're lumbered with some character that we can't deal with. I can deal with a Maggie run, especially when it's now a Dark Judas run. That room paid for itself. Um, we've not got a particular disp... disp advantage like the keeper does with the slow triple shot and you only been able to get hit and pick up pennies for HP and the um, Lilith with that is not a secret room are you fucking kidding me that is in every respect a secret room that has all the hallmarks of a secret room except for the one crucial one where when you bomb it, it you know displays a secret room so we're not uh, we're not really crippled in terms of our ability to play this game. Like some of the challenges, fuck me. Don't talk to me about how salty I've been getting over the Guardian challenge right now. Fucking, you got to run around. You can only melee, but you don't take any contact damage yourself. And you have Isaac's heart, except it's attached to that um that punching bag, the scapegoat item, which is the little thing that runs around all the time. Uh, absorbing enemy shots. You know the one. It's bullshit. I hate it. It's not an item you tend to take. It's not an item that really ruins your run. But it certainly doesn't tend to benefit your run because all it ever does is make enemies slightly more unpredictable than they already are. Uh, I'd like to be able to get that, but I can't. Another fly item is fine. One more and we're um, Beelzebub, which means we'll be able to fly. So it's amused me slightly that Northern Lion has realised that what he used to call the Lord of the Flies transformation is actually called Beelzebub. Not understanding, of course, that uh, Beelzebub means Lord of the Flies. We haven't got enough keys to open that golden chest, actually. I'm thinking it may be worthwhile. It could contain a goat head or a guppy's head or something like that. Which, in my book, is very worth doing. Well, that actually didn't uh, do any contact damage. I would have sworn that I was in range to do damage with... Uh, Keep a meat there. So today we're going. Ooh. It is one of the heads and it is one of the better ones. Definitely down for this. It's a damage upgrade. I think it's a double damage multiplier, but um, Dark Judas already is a double damage multiplier, so 
It's just a straight damage upgrade now, but you saw how fast we took out uh, Chubb there. That thing shot me, despite my fucking evasive maneuvers. That's the same sort of evasive maneuvers as the uh, Star Trek computers will take, where basically you just move randomly and get hit anyway. Retrovision is not uh, not one of the pills that I, I want. Fuck me, we're still on Dank Depths 1, and we're coming up to the time where I want to be uh, trying to get to Hush. Beat the shit out of Monstro 2 now. I guess if you stop shooting the enemy that you're trying to uh, hit uh, with the ball of bandages, then you've got a better chance of actually hitting the enemy with the ball of bandages. I'm trying to bait Monstro 2 into shooting me. Like that. I think I got hit by a bullet there rather than walking into it, which is a new one. I hate these flies. Monstro, just stop it. Look how much damage we're doing. We've really taken off on, on this floor. Outrageously good. Uh, I don't have much HP we've got, and I kind of don't want either of these anyway. So I'm happy to leave them behind. We don't have enough guppy items, i.e. zero, to make it worth picking up guppy's collar. And I did take some dumb damage, and we would have died, so... <laughs> I'm glad that I made the right decision there, although it was a pretty easy one to make. We'll use the sun card. Does that kill that? No. I should have waited for, waited for it to land. Once you realise that you need to stand in the middle, like you use these to block... Um, block the charge from those. That room becomes a lot easier. The charge, I mean the uh, the fishes. We'll do this. Definitely do this. Uh, no. Oh god. Why am I definitely doing this? <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Die faster so that I don't have to deal with your bullshit. Oh my god, I did it. Right, and now it's the champion mega fatty. Oh no, this is even better. Alright, good. I thought it was going to be the champion mega fight that did the fishes and all that bullshit. Uh, no, it's not. It's just this exploded version of the husk. The hollow. The husk. It's got three names. That's its full name, the husk of the hollow, the husk. Ooh, I'll take that first. Save ourselves a key. Opening this, which gives us bombs. Yeah, that was worth doing, at least for the points. Uh, might have to not do hush either. Honestly, I don't care. I did okay yesterday. I managed to, um... I managed to get to the... Dark room using a self sacrifice room, which put me in about 450th at the time. Modulo uh, cheaters, but also modulo the time between me and the end when other people came along and beat me. Uh, but of course, I failed to record it, so just have to take my word for it. This has been a difficult run, and I still don't know how to deal with this room if I'm being honest with you. I'm sure that there's a way. You know how it is. You've I think you've got every room down, and then there's one room, you're like, what is this bullshit? Tears down is okay, range up is fine. Full health would be helpful if we had any health, but I would actually like it if the game gave me some uh, spirit hearts once in a while. Might have to go to the shop and get them ourselves. Didn't realise um, Papafly actually fired. Tech X. <sighs> well, this is run. We've won this run. <laughs> Tech X is probably one of the most... Uh, Outrageously powerful new items added to the game. But you have to charge it up and get it right, so. It's causing me difficulty right now, but we'll get the hang of it, don't worry. Spirit Heart is here. I could buy one of these. I might just do that. Uh, I kicked that bomb by accident, but that's okay. More options. Uh, a bit late. <laughs> this is the very last floor on which that could have been good, and it was too late. We'll get the other one. I don't care. Did I want to do that? I don't know. <laughs> that was probably a stupid idea. But, I, I mean, we've got a full health pill, which means we can heal ourselves for half a heart. We want to be spamming this as much as possible, really, but... I've, I've not quite got used to our minimum charge time, if you see what I mean. It's not like uh, chocolate milk, where you can basically tap shoot. Or you can literally tap shoot with chocolate milk. That was good. Uh, apparently we're going to the... Going up to the Polaroid place. Uh, we don't have a way of coming back to life, so I'm not going to do that. I don't like Curse of the Blind. Well, this has turned out to be a... A rotter. We're very powerful. We've, we're absolutely in glass cannon mode at the moment. We are 100% gonna die if we get hit. But also, we're very, very powerful. I would like Magic Mushroom to be in one of these. Perks. Tears down is not what I want. Full health. Doesn't really help. I did use an extra bomb to blow up an extra thing. 
Ah, uh, I saw that we had the compass, but then I moved room and then we didn't have the compass anymore. These are... These easy rooms are... Making me slightly more confident that we can get through a good amount of this fight before we have to worry about our HP. Uh, we can't go to the curse room, unfortunately. If we get hit, the full health bill is not going to help, we're just dead. I'm going to be very vigilant right now and look for a tinted rock. I see none. And I will never see one, even if there is one. And look here as well, note just those um, polyps, which will be playing out with red hearts or death. It's, uh, it's a very mixed bag of options. <laughs> oh god. Help. Please. Die! Oh, it didn't die in time. Well, we died. That was a terrible, terrible performance, and I do apologise. But I hope you will join me for tomorrow's terrible, terrible performance, and I'm going to go and practice as Maggie for a while until I'm blue in the face. Goodbye.